Hi, Dr. Alex here and welcome to a probably quite short video just showing what happens if you plug a Vox AC30 amp plug into the return side of the effects loop on a full-size amp. Now you might say, why are you doing this? You're insane. Why would you want to do that? That might be a perfectly reasonable objection. However, I'm still going to do it. So there. Anyway, I got to thinking the little Vox amp plugs sound really good. I mean, in terms of audio quality, gigable or even recordable audio quality. And so I got to think, well, I wonder if this could be used in a live setting or a studio setting using full size amplifiers. And then I thought, well, what's the best way of doing that? Well, I may not have come up with the best way of doing it, but I came up with the first idea that came into my head. And this is what I did. So I took the output from this and I plugged it into, as I've already indicated, the return side of this full-size 50 watt Marlin Reverb 50 amplifier and uh, nearly terrified myself with the initial results because when I'm running the two 1x12s you've seen me running it into before without any other amplification I normally have this thing turned up to maximum volume to ensure that it drives the speakers as powerfully as possible and uh, well I'll show you what happened when I plugged it just plugged it into the amp without doing anything with it set to maximum volume without playing anything through it. In fact, without even having it switched on. Okay, I just turned on the amp. I haven't turned this on yet. Uh, and I'm probably about to die. Hang on. So yeah, that's what happened. In addition, I left my two 1x12s plugged in, so that's probably why I got a massive feedback. Uh, so let's try it again, but this time without both of them plugged in. Oh, still the same. So you get a massive amount of signal going in if you leave it with the volume turned up to max. So obviously, not being an idiot and not wanting to blow the amplifier up, I then turned the main volume on this down to something sane, or what I hope would be sane. In fact, I turned it to zero and worked up from there. So here's the amp plug AC30, now with the main volume set to zero. I'm going to try turning on the amplifier once again. Ah, I haven't been blown away, and this hasn't blown up yet. So let's just see how loud it goes in this flat setting. So this is on volume zero. Let's move it up to... Uh, Okay, I can hear some hum from the amp midway between volumes two and three. Holy crap. Okay. Let me just see what happens when I play through volume three as it is now. And I'll point the microphone at it. So as you can note out here, that's actually not bad. That's volume two and a bit to three 
on the Vox AC30 amp plug. The main volume on here, the master, is set so far down you would not believe it. Um, if it goes from 0 to 10, which it does, I would guess that the main volume on here, sorry, here it is, the master volume on here is set about 1. So that's pretty damn loud, just on 1. Dare I turn it up further? Ah, now that's interesting. I've just made another discovery, and you are witness to my discovery. The master volume no longer does anything. So the only thing controlling the volume now is, in fact, the AC30. So the power amp stage is presumably on its maximum, or is not in any way interfered with by the volume control here, or indeed the other volume control. So the master volume and the other... Let's put that down. So master volume, volume, none of these things affect it now. It's just the power amp and whatever you get from the Vox down here. So it's on somewhere between two and three. Let's turn it up a tiny bit and hope I don't explode. Holy crap. Oh my God. That's volume four on the Vox going into the return stage of this. I'll play a couple of notes and then from here on in we may have to retire to the shed to practice any further. Okay, that's about as loud as I'm going to go because the neighbours will be complaining by this point. That was on volume 4 on the Vox AC30 going into the return side of the effects loop on the Marlin Reverb 50 full powered 50 watt amplifier. If we're going to go any louder, I think I'm going to need ear defenders and we'll need to retire to the shed. So that's where this video will now continue. Hi, and welcome to the second half of the video where I have escaped to the shed. And I've also managed to find some ear defenders. I think this will be useful for the second part. This is going to be very short because I'm not going to spend very long playing this guitar through the Vox AC30 Amp Plug 2 into a full-size 50 watt amp for very long because I am seriously worried that the neighbours will call the police. So hence the ear defenders and this is going to be very short. First of all, I've got it set up much as I did when I left the flat. So the volume on the Amp Plug AC30 is at below between two and three the amplifier doesn't really care where it's set so it is what it is and it's on so let's see what happens when i turn this thing on okay yeah that sounds pretty much that sounds pretty much what it is now i'm not changing the position of the mic here so my voice and the amplifier are getting virtually the same amount of signal so i might appear, appear a bit quiet i'll try and boost it this might appear quiet, but not for long, I suspect. So. Now that's actually quite acceptable and perfectly tame because it's only set on that lower one I had before. Now let's drag it up to 4 on the Vox AC30 amp plug because that's where it began to be a little bit unacceptable for the neighbours. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, there's a lot of... Uh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I'm getting drowned out by this. This is getting to the range where I want to put ear defenders on, and I'm on four on the AC30 out of ten. Um. <laughs>
okay, you're getting an idea of the volume level there. Uh, before I put it any higher, I'm going to put the ear defenders on and I'm going to put it up to uh, seven. Shall we say seven out of ten? Let's see what happens. Feedback. I can't hear myself very well. I can only assume that the mic's picking me up right now. And the volume I've set to my eye. God, my eyesight's too bad. Four, five, six, seven. I can hear the, the noise coming through that thing, even with the ear defenders on. <laughs> track on there has gone to the max. I'll do it briefly on the top volume. Oh my god. I'm now going to turn it off. Okay, oh. from the incredible vibrating feelings going through my lungs right then as I was playing, I'm guessing that was loud enough to do not just a small venue, you could probably do Wembley with that AC30 amp plug 2 plugged into a, just a 50 watt standard old tranny amplifier, was so loud I can hear police sirens, they might be coming right now to pull me away and arrest me. It was very loud, let's put it that way. It was kicking me in the chest. Maybe the amp can do that on its own. I've never really run this thing at full volume, but I doubt whether the audio quality for that end recording will be any good because the I can see the audio trace on the on Audacity right now, and it was maxed out all the way across. So it'll be nothing but clipped distortion for that recording, I imagine. But yeah, if you run the uh, amp plug into a main full-sized amplifier, you could gig with it easily, I think. The only downside I can see to this is, well, you have limited control, but you do have some control over the effects, reverb, chorus, uh, delay is on there as well. They're all in the amp Amplug AC30 settings. Uh, you've got full control over the output volume, so you can bring it under control with this thing just nearby. By the way, this normally plugs into the jack on the guitar, but I've got it plugged in through an extender and a cable. This actually is good for two reasons. One, I can control the amp, it's sitting in front of me over here. Two, if that's plugged into the guitar, it often gets knocked, often leads to these amp plugs getting broken as you put the guitar down and end up stamping or squashing your amp plug AC30 into the ground. So it's a good idea to use an extender cable so you're not actually having the amp plug plugged into your guitar. But that's an aside. But in terms of volume, uh, quality of the output was really high audio quality. There's a bit of hum coming not from the AC30 amp plug, because that's battery powered, coming from the main amp at a high volume. But it was really quite incredibly clear. And so this has got nice reverb. It's got a small bank of effects if you want effects. I would consider gigging with that plus any old amp and putting that into the power amp stage of any old amp. And it would sound pretty damn devastating. I do hope the neighbors aren't coming to kill me right now, though. That's all I can say. So there you go. That was my promised thing I discovered while playing with this guitar, the AC30 amp plug, and sending the signal direct to the return on a full-size amp. So uh, something to think about. The one downside I can think of, of using this in a gigging situation, is it's battery powered, and there's no power input for the Vox amp plugs. That said, they only cost about 25 quid. You could buy a few of them and have them set up in rotation with the batteries ready to go. I've played these things quite a lot and the batteries tend to last between half an hour, maybe if you're lucky it might last three quarters of an hour, so you wouldn't get an entire gig out of one set of batteries, but as long as you, you're well organised and get the batteries changed over on a regular basis, you'd be laughing. You could you could gig with that, I think. You could easily gig with that and uh, you'd have something that would make sure you could be heard over the drums, let's put it that way. Anyway, I think that's all I really need to say about my amazing discovery. Uh, if anyone can think of anything else I could do with this, um, please keep it clean in the comments. But yeah, put it in the comments and I'll consider what I might do with these weird bits of equipment.
run together. And for now, um, I hope you enjoyed this and I'm glad I survived without my ears exploding or being arrested and hope to see you in the next one, whatever that may be. And for the time being, everyone out there, take care. <laughs>